Скачем. 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7, 7, 9, 10. 1 million долларов. Right. 1 million dollars. Talk English, Max. I can't afford to lose my accent. <laughs> I have to put this in the vault. Which bank? <laughs> that is a question. Listen a minute, Max. Hmm? You're under arrest. You're crazy. Max! Why? For stealing official funds. Stealing? Yes. Now just bring that satchel over here. I could shoot you, Max. But your confession will be of far more use to me. <laughs> Season. Jocks and sex. That is what the public wants. Well, let them have it. Can you just give me two days, Tycho? You have to ask Charlie. Tycho's booked solidly, aren't you, Tycho? Oh, yes, thank goodness. But it's only two days. If it was my play, I'd make him leave her at the end of the first act. But that would end the play. What a mercy. Two. Photo sprint? I mean, it's the whole spring line. Tycho modeling everything. It would be terrific exposure, wouldn't it? We have our commitments, haven't we, Tycho? Yes. Cause it's a very bad pull. Tycho. Hello. How are you? As you see. Beautiful. Four years older. And more beautiful. You should have kept our appointment. Couldn't. Yes. I didn't know you were in London till just now. And this minute, uh, you remembered me. I never forgot. I'm a very independent person these days. Successful model, much sought after. Can you believe it? Yeah. And you, how have you done? Okay. I still got my suitcase. 
decent clothes, place to live. And a renegade Russian friend over there. Uh huh. Are you offering me all your worldly goods? Listing them. Then nothing has changed since last time. It's really good to see you. Can we go someplace? Japanese girl dance for Yankee. And you know I didn't mean that. Then what? Spend some time with me. I missed you. I've cursed you. Taiko. I cursed you for cheating us. I have to go. No, wait a minute. I'm sorry for cheating us. So am I. Well, where can I reach you? No. I'll find you. Don't. Then you find me. I'm at the mansions, Park Street, Northwest One. Will you wait for me as I waited for you? Come and see. I'm not very strong. Welcome back. Do we uh, see the rest of the play or do we go and play chess at Guinness? Let's go. Well. There are two theories about the end game. You can play it safe until we both collapse from fatigue, or you can strike out and hope for the best. I either will do. You could toss a coin. Miguel. Hmm. I'm sorry, Max. What is on your mind, huh? The girl? I am an expert with women. You should confide in me about this lady. And I, like a computer, will eject the correct course of action. Tick, tick. Pzz. Send her poems. You belong in a novel, Chekhov. <laughs> I belong in a jail, according to the Russian authorities. Mm, that's what you get for being a dirty communist. Mm. Your reputation, of course, is spotless, huh? You should send her flowers. No, 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 a single flower each night, huh? A rose, perhaps, wilted, symbolizing your psyche. You really are a Russian romantic, aren't you? And then, then you will appear at odd moments, right? Your face expressing a combination of uh, undying love and imminent suicide. She will turn the corner and there you will be. A spur to her conscience. Max, shut up. You, you know, you Americans, you, you're too cautious. Sometimes I wonder how you reproduce. Well, what are you going to do?
He made first contact with her at the White Theater on October the 27th. They've been seeing each other regularly for the past two weeks. How's McGill's financial situation? He came back from Rome last month with about 20,000 American dollars. Good for him. Legal? Strictly. Better yet. There he is. Max Stein, large as life. And the three of them have been seeing each other. Oh, butters. Has McGill spotted you? No way of knowing. Continue close surveillance. Keep a check on ports and airfields and notify Coughlin in Washington. McGill can go pretty far on $20,000. You see that he doesn't. People should be left together without supervision. Bill's character huh? contributes to the population explosion. to kiss the lady. The lady would be delighted. Good night, and thank you. Good night, Max. Soft. Lovely. My you near glad my year. You keep her, Magil. You make it work. She's priceless. I could give her the moon. Hmm. I could give you the moon. I could give you a million dollars. I really could. <laughs> but I'm not going to. Because you're my friend. My only true friend. Thanks, Max. Hmm. Are you going to be all right? Certainly. Absolutely. Take it easy, Chekhov. What he's talking about? Half the time, I don't know what he's talking about when he's sober. He was different tonight. He's, he knows how happy we are. I think he just feels left out. Where does Max live? Well, he lives in a box about a mile from here. Huh? They ought to pay him to stay there. <laughs> and yet he talks about a million dollars. Well, I guess when he's had enough to drink, he dreams. Don't you have any dreams? Mm-hmm. When I'm not drunk. I dream a little anyway. Why you tell me a story? Little house. Little car. Makil goes to work. Makil has lunch. Taiko cleans house, watches baby. <laughs> now watch yourself. It could come true. Well, I don't know. It's a nice dream. Pretty nice. And Max has his million. <laughs> Beautiful thing. Pop art, very good. But has it ever occurred to you, my dear, that the marvelous thing about your civilization is its decadence? Can't say I ever thought about it. Only great cultures can afford to be decadent. So be proud of your uh, miniskirt. Brag about your beetles. They are your modern equivalent of the Parthenon. My what? Your equivalent of. Forget it. Max. Tovarich! 
I want to talk to you. I don't want to talk. Since when? Come on. Excuse me. Excuse me. But she's so intellectual. Square. What's going on, Max? Like what, for instance? I'm being followed, and so are you. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought they were just on to me. Well, who are they? Security forces, I suppose. After all, it's no secret that I was a Russian diplomat, and you were an American intelligence agent. Strange friendship, you must admit, huh? And don't forget that it started because I looked you up on that rumor that you stole a million dollars from your people. Okay, I know you say you didn't take it, and I believe you. But we're being followed, Max, and there's a reason. Look, why don't you just say what you mean, Miguel? Eh? If there's a million, you want it. That's what I looked you up for. What is it, Miguel? Creed? The girl, perhaps, huh? For the future you can't offer her? Look, I'm here. I'm glad to be alive. You should be glad, too. Forget the million. Max, you set me up for something. What do you mean? Well, you could still be working for the Russians. Why can't two people just trust each other completely, huh? It's a lousy world. And don't forget my party tomorrow. Daddy, what are you looking for out there? Hmm, I don't know. I thought Max might show up anyway. Come back to me. Stay with me. I'm with you. Evening, sir. Uh, coffee, please. Yes, sir. Black or white, sir? Uh, black, thank you. Yes, sir. Nice night, sir. Who the devil are you? It doesn't really matter. Just to me. I've been instructed to uh, obtain the key. Blast the key. Shh. Kurdjinov sent you, huh? I've never heard of Kurdjinov. Liar. I don't ask for details. I take a job and I do it. Efficiently. The key, please. They're not dead. The key? There's no such thing. You won't be asked again. Good. And you can tell Kurjino from me. I'll blow his brains out someday. Do give me the key. Get away from me. Very well. One and six, please, sir. a bottle and we'll close up the place and have a few drinks. Yeah? I don't want a few drinks. Come on, relax. No point in taking chances, is there? I've got something to do. What's all this about a key, then? Max!
lovely time. They really did. Oh, I'm sorry. It was a bore to you. No, it wasn't. Thank you for helping me. Mm, I have to go. Why? Studio date at nine o'clock in the morning. I know where you can save cab, eh? <laughs> me too. What do you say? I need to have my own place. To feel I have my own home. Make this your home. Once I played house with you, it was the right man, but wrong arrangement. Another time I married, wrong man, but right arrangement. Next time I want the right man and right arrangement. Well, that's what I'm trying to arrange. Truly. Truly. Burger. That's Max. You stay here. I'm losing a lot of alcohol. You just hang on, Max. We'll get you some more. Somebody get a doctor. I got him. I got him with my baby. Did I show you my baby? Would one of you people get a doctor? Come on, somebody get a doctor. Listen, Miguel. I, courage enough, tried to frame me. Okay, Max, don't talk now. I took the money, and I put it that way. In the, in the Black Queen. Okay, Max. The Black Queen. The Continental Bank of Lisbon. Max, shut up. Miguel, you, you look after their girl, huh? She, huh? What are you standing around here for? What are you looking at? There's nothing to see here. It's just a dead man. Come on, go home. You have no idea who would want to kill Max Stein. Mm -mm. 
You're dying, he came to you. Right. What did Max Stone do for a living? I don't know. Never asked? It didn't matter to me. I told you all I know about Max, and I'd like to get out of here. Would you? Know him? As we reconstruct it, he followed your friend, shot him, and got killed himself. Now you tell me why Max Stone was killed. I don't know. Witnesses say he spoke to you just before he died. Yeah. What did he say? Please. He was hemorrhaging. But he said something. Yeah. What? Goodbye. And that's all? That was enough. Thank you very much, sir. He wasn't alone. He was alone. That's where they were sitting over there. Mm -hmm. At your usual table. And there was no fight or argument. No. Max, as I told you, was emphatic about the key. The guy left first. Mm. I wanted Max to stay. He just wouldn't. Why not? He said, um, I've got something to do. When he left. Kenneth, you still in business? <laughs> yes. Which one? I'd like to take a trip. Do you know, traveling is very expensive these days. Yes or no? Yes. You helped Max get over, didn't you? Indirectly. Well, did he pay you well? Standard rate. I'd like to see your kitchen. All of a sudden, a health inspection. Yeah, and if you're working for me, you start now. Well, I've got now. This way. That, Kenneth. It's all right. I'll take care of that. He's going to have to watch out for trucks in the alley. No trouble in the early afternoon. Okay. Hello, hello, hello. McGill. Theater. Concert? Oh, very cultural. Well, I haven't been to a concert in a long time. Don't go, McGill. I'd hate to see you killed before you paid me. Well, I'd die for and let them kill me, Ken. Until they know where that key is, they can't. Well, I hope it's not Wagner.
enjoying the concert, Miguel? Well, I'm a Mozart man myself. I thought it would be rather pleasant for us to talk here. Mm -hmm. Well, we wouldn't be burnt. You're not wired for sound, are you? You want to take a look? No, I'm only joking. You're as anxious to keep this confidential as I am. And who are you? A music lover. What kind? American, English, Russian? My tastes are international. Most people call me Bert. Bert? Well, Bert, I'd better tell you I was followed you. Yes, I know. Uh, most unpleasant type. Now, the question is, while we're relatively alone, would $50,000 sound correct to you? For what? The key. Mm -hmm. What's well, an awful lot of money for such a little key? Well, I heard it's worth a lot more than that. How much more? I heard a million dollars. I'm sorry you said that. You see, the story about the million, it isn't true. Nah, everybody lies nowadays. You, uh, wouldn't be carrying the key around with you. Look, I have the 50 grand all ready at any time. There's no risk and no mess. A fellow could buy a wedding license with that kind of money. Did you arrange to have Max killed? Look, I want the key. With Max dead, it gets harder, not easier. That's right, buddy. Much harder. I wish I could convince you. You have. Wagner's not so bad. Yeah, take a look. There's your friend. Is he American? Why, you should know that. I'll have to make sure about you, Miguel. Uh, you try and do that, Buster. Right, it's coming. Feeling better? Yeah, I'm okay. Who did all this? I don't know. And you didn't call the police? Hmm. And you won't? No. Because it is something to do with Max. I just can't say, honey. I don't know. I'm frightened. Well, don't be. They won't hurt you. The only time in my life I was really hurt was by you. Never again, if I can help you.
Грузия. Someone seems to be taking a great interest in your case. Oh, him? Well, we're all friends. We're shipping out tomorrow afternoon at 2.30. Here are all the details. Why afternoon, Kenneth? I told you, evening. Not a chance, you know. I can't control the tides. It's a Panamanian ship. Ship's name is Janus. Captain Rivers. Well, look, it's all down there on the paper. How much? 5,000. Round trip. Including delivery. Did you pay him? I did. Uh, the money you gave Kenneth. Okay. Oh. Here are the papers. The Max Stein papers. Fake letters. Certificates. Mortgage. Deeds. Aren't they beautiful? Very nice, Kenneth. Thank you. I'm afraid, of course, sir. Uh, that will cost you another 3,000. Well, I mean, it's not very much, is it? Considering the short time we had. Okay. Now, where do I stay when I get to Lisbon? The captain's fixing it. He'll give you instructions on the ship. I don't like that too much. Take it or leave it. All right. And how much for the cover? Oh, uh, now that's another 3,000. Uh, then there's, of course, there's 3,000 for me. And... And oh, th thousand for Lionel. Wow, well, you guys are really something. Of course, we, uh, we threw in the cars. That's very generous of you, Kenneth. We'll rent them. Don't steal them. Oh, waste of money. Well, I'll be wasting a lot more if I get caught running around in a stolen car. Okay, I'll get the point. All right, so. I'll pick this stuff up tomorrow. Sure. You've got to rendezvous by midday if you want to make the ship in time. I'll be there. Good job. Cheers, Miguel. Truth, friend, I was expecting somebody else. I wasn't. Okay, straight ahead, down the stairs. Car's waiting. Okay, Miguel, you had your little joke. Was it funny? How are you planning on leaving the country? What do you mean, leave the country? I was going to the tailor's. The tailor that sews up those nice new million dollar bills? Hmm. I heard about him. Where is he located? That'd be nice. That'd be deadly. Give me the key. There's no million dollars, McGill. There's nothing for you wherever you're going except a bullet like the bullet that got Max Stein. I'll give you 30,000 bucks for the key. I've had better offers than that. You made friends with a former Russian security officer. Diplomat. Don't kid yourself. He was a Soviet agent, a spy, McGill. Well, I used to work for American intelligence. That makes me a spy, too. But Max Stein wasn't only a communist and an agent. That wasn't enough. He also stole his own contingency fund. Yeah, is that why he lived here in poverty in a box? He had to leave it behind when he got asylum here. Hmm. My guess is that the Russians have that money by now. Well, then what do you want a key for? It'll open something that I'd like to look into. And I'm not particularly anxious to see you killed. Well, I really appreciate that, Michaels. But if there's no money, how am I going to get killed? Don't be stupid. People think that money still exists. 
and a million is a big temptation. Besides, there are two governments who would be very embarrassed if the whole Max Stein story should become known. Maybe three. He was a traitor and a spy. And that's what you call me, isn't it? In this room, we know you're innocent. Well, maybe there's some room that they know Max is innocent. I understand you've been looking around for a decent job. I'd like to help you very indirectly, of course. No, thanks. I don't want you to leave London. I don't care what you want. You can't order me around anymore. Now, you and Coughlin forced me to resign, remember? If you go after that illusionary million bucks, you'll be followed by half the agents and adventurers in Europe. The vultures are out. They'll eat you alive. All right. We made you suffer because of us. Now I'm leveling with you. Don't get yourself killed because of a pot of gold. I don't intend to. We'll stop you, Mac. Any way we have to. Good hunting. I think today's a day, a big day, am I right? Yeah, I have a job to do. Oh, yeah. Uh, you don't have to know that. I see. Well, only, I'll be back in a week, the latest. You are going after the million dollars. Honey, I'm going to work. I thought you were giving up that kind of work. I can't. And if they kill you the way they killed Max? They won't. But the money isn't yours. Honey, the Russians don't claim it. The Americans don't even claim it. It doesn't belong to anybody. You are doing it again. Just like four years ago in Tokyo, we met. Fell in love. So simple. But you had to go somewhere, do something for money. And you left me waiting and never came back. Honey, you know I couldn't help that. Because you were almost killed. And this time. This time. That's a chance we have to take. Our only chance is if you stay here with me. I can't. I have to try this. I think you are going to a strange place, I suppose. Strange country. Yeah. In a way, Max was lucky. When he was dying, he could crawl to you, a friend, so that he would not die alone. Tell me, where will you crawl? Who will you go to? I'll come back to you. I have to go now. Don't go. I'll be back.
is he? Gone. Nothing. We've been had. He grabbed the elevator and went down like a gentleman. Take her home and wait. Scooters. Yep. Passport with Portuguese permit. Yep. Right, and uh, next time paper. Right? Yep. That's right. Here's your excuse. I trust you. I think you're all right, Don. You better go. Okay, thanks a lot. You did a good job. Yes, I know how he did it. He wanted me to know. 